Like, who... Who, I, don't, I actually, I don't know this, but who's actually behind the AARs? Are the AARs just, like, random people, or are they Paradox employees? Legacy of the Southern Colonialization Decree. In 1919, King Alexander II signed a decree on the colonization of Southern provinces into law. It's one of the key features of the post-war land reform in the Kingdom of Serbia. This decree ordered the abolition of serfdom and sharecropping of Kosovo, and exfoliated the estates formerly held by Albanian and Turkish landowners, and a settlement of Serbian war veterans in the vacant holdings. These marked the period of ethnic settlement in Kosovo, expulsion of thousands of Albanians, and the ensuing conflict. To, to the Serbs, Kosovo holds a sentimental value as the location of the legendary Battle of Kosovo in the 14th century. The official line of the Serbian government was that Albanians were recent settlers bought by the Ottoman Turks, and thus integration of Kosovo into Serbia was seen as a fighting for a historical wrong. Finally, thousands of war veterans were on the streets of Serbia. They had been promised land in the Viltrik and Alexander's royal dictatorship were anxious to satisfy the demands and avoid rebellion. The colonization of Kosovo was deep, deemed to be a failure, however. Kosovo remained in the Albanian and the population was left in flame. Many colonists returned home or emigrated to the west after failing to make a living. Have you ever thought about doing Solaris? Um... I mean, for Solaris... Solaris is interesting to me. Because I'm going, to, I'm going to disable these because I think these are a little bit broken. They shouldn't be showing up here. Um, like Solaris doesn't really do very well on my on my series on my channel, I should say. Oh, they're by a de uh, they're by a developer. Okay. Edit mode. Did I click on a button or something? Uh, how do I get off of this? How, how did I how did I create this? Uh... Hey, there we go. Okay. Yeah, I, I was wondering if they were by a developer, if they were just like uh, community members. God, our, our, our tensions are so bad. We're actually losing one political power per day. Big thumbs up. I don't know if political power can actually go down in, when you're in the negatives. I don't think negative one actually does anything. But it basically means that even if we weren't taking a focus, we don't gain political power back. Which is incredible. We need more civilian factories. Okay, we got new spending points. So we're at five, four, five, three, one. The points here, points here. Something like this. The power loss should be nerfed. Yeah, I mean, it, it's, it's not looking good for us, I will say. I was wondering about... Um... Putting the grand like I, I I was debating with myself whether or not we would do the grand campaign and bring that into Solaris. I need to still do the grand campaign at some point, anyways. It, it's been I think like three weeks since I've done a done anything with the grand campaign, unfortunately. Probably after the series is done. Maybe after maybe after we're done with the the Serbia series tonight, we will. Uh, Da -da -da -da. Ba -da -ba -ba. We will play Victoria 2 and get some grand campaign stuff done. The Tardian Solaris, hell yeah. 14,000 rifles. I think we don't have manpower, right? Which actually, if we have no manpower, it means we should just throw Bulgarians in there. We have literally no support. You know what? Okay, get rid of this for a second. Give me Bulgarian. Do you have like just a pure infantry army? You know, I'll copy this. I don't think they're very good. But they're they're cheap divisions I can just throw out there. We bring up Solaris. I, I had a different idea for how Solaris would work. Then um Then uh Then a traditional Solaris campaign, let's just say.
Because I, I, I was going to do it a little bit different. That, uh, that might be... I don't know if it'd be like hard to explain or if I'm just bad at explaining things. Because what I also, what I also wanted to do is that I wanted the Grand Campaign at some point to go into, like, the Victoria 2 Cold War mod. But I'm pretty sure that would be not impossible, but would take so long that it would essentially be impossible for me to do it. Like, I think it would, like, literally take months. I guess I can't really core any more territory, huh? Yeah, it's not, it's not gonna happen. Actually, if you dissolve the Belgrade Pact, you should be able to join the Moscow Accord. If you can expand the faction, though. I mean, we will. I, I'll wait until the second field creek begins before we kind of look at it a bit more. Okay, so I actually have a question about price. Paradox game, so if I can course buying in the game DLC base price is kind of a scam. But this is your model. I wonder if it's a trade off. It. I. Like, I know that they have their. Um, also. Italy's actually unified for the second Field Creek. Another very rare event. But... I don't know. To be honest... About whether or not it's worth it to do the subscription. It, uh, it, like, I guess it depends on... One, how many of the DLCs you own. He's like, what, what's, the, what's the base price right now for all of the DLC for Victor, for Hoi 4? Because there's, because they have their like, little subscription thing that they're doing. Is the subscription model per game or is it for all Paradox games? So if you subscribe to like the Paradox $5 a month, you get the DLC for every single game or is it just for like Hoi 4? Because I think that that drastically can change the math here. About, you know, which one's actually worth it. Per game? Uh, like, I, I don't know. I think... If, if you were coming into the games with no DLC at all... Like, let's say you just bought the game. I I don't think that the DLC, the, 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 the subscription for Hearts of Iron 4 makes sense. I don't think there's enough Hoi 4 DLC to justify it. For EU4, that has, I think, like, five, five years of D DLC. Five, six, no, it's gotta be more than five years. How old is EU4, like... It's not 10 years old now, but it's it's getting up there. For EU4, it might make sense. But... Yeah, we'll join the economic uh, pack with them. How many DLCs do you think for the game to be complete? Um... If we're talking about... If, if, we're, if we're talking about... Boy 4... What well, I don't I'm trying to think like what needs to change? Eight years eight, eight years sounds about right for how old uh 2014 ish. Cause I think EU4, EU4 is basically good to go. Like I don't I don't think EU4 needs more DLCs. Which I'm pretty sure Paradox themselves are probably aware of. Also, let's make some trains. Cause I would I would assume that C, uh, EU5 is on the way. I have no proof of this whatsoever. I'm just based on the fact that the game's eight years old, and they have so much DLC that they're probably also let's check four three four two two. Okay, I'm really bad at managing this stuff apparently. There we go. Put some points there. I'm 
I'm assuming the CK3 have the same... CK3 have the subscription model as well? That doesn't make any sense. I think they like one DLC for that game. Like a capital gain per turn. It's this turn. You know what? Let's replace the capital legal code. I don't know if this will make any sense. Wait, can Yugoslavia completely collapse in the Civil War? I don't know. Maybe we'll find out. DK3 doesn't? Okay, that's good. But if it's $5 a month, and there is, let, let's just say $150 of, is there, let's say $150 of Hoi 4 DLC. I don't know how much there actually is. How long would that take you to... That would be like 30 months. If you were to buy them at regular price. So if you're if you're planning on playing the games for longer than two and a half years, of course it makes no financial sense to do the subscription model. But I, I, it depends. I think actually I'm gonna take a quick look. This is just while we're waiting for stuff to happen here. Um, Paradox abandoned EU4. I mean, I think it makes sense to just abandon EU4, to be honest. Okay, Puerto Rico's clear their independence. Right now. How do I still... Do I not have DLC? Apparently, there's some, I guess... Okay, we have place the Habsburg Leo code. We'll do a research on you, followed by... Found the Yugoslav Navy. I think Imperial of Rome, I think, is just permanently abandoned, yeah. I don't think Imperial of Rome is making a return. I th I've only played the game one time, ever. I'll be honest, I didn't think it was very good, but, you know, maybe, maybe we can give it a try another time in the future, but I don't know. Okay, cancel, get me, get me out of all this. Prices on the Dawn, that's cool. Uh, Steam EU4. H how much is all, how much DLC right now? The ultimate bundle is... Is that including the price of the game itself? Yes. So there's like 430... 430 dollars of EU4 DLC. Jesus Christ. Um. So yeah, for EU4, I think it's probably worthwhile. Even if there's like a 75% discount. I think it's... 75% discount. This would be like 120 bucks, no? Very expensive. Okay, so, I mean, shit's going bad in in, uh, in our country. Very, very nice. I'm happy with it. Uh, we will go build some basic trucks now. And we have these guys. Deploy you on this line. Yeah, so I think for EU4, I can definitely see it being worthwhile. How much is Hearts of Iron 4? All their DLC. But if you have the, okay, if you have the base game, all of the EU4 DLC is only like a hundred dollars, right? Yeah, Hoi 4, it doesn't make sense. For a hundred bucks, that is like a year and a half. I, I don't, I don't think, because they're on, uh, they're on sale. Yeah, because the, the ultimate bundle includes the base game itself. I don't think the Hoi 4 one is worth it. Yeah, 115, and if, if there's a bit, if, you know, let's say there's the summer sale, spring sale, usually that's going to go 50 to 75% off. Hoi 4, no sense. Do, do not buy the Hoi 4 monthly subscription. I think EU3, or EU4, not EU3. EU4 is the only one I think it makes any sense with.
First, the Croatian Revolution Organization. Radicalization right wing of the Croatian Party of Rights ever since formation of Yugoslavia and the inability of the government in Belgrade to save life state of at time has finally concluded in the birth of something worrying. Okay. Uh, no longer appeased by any sort of recol uh, reconciliation talks or federal promise, the talks organized around an underground magazine, Ursurgent, Stazza, which uh, proclaimed their break uh, uh, with any form of Yugoslavia. Yeah, I'm sure there would be absolutely no issue with a, with the Ustatsa. Not, nothing bad has ever happened with an organization called Ustatsa. So, <laughs> okay. So, I mean, how much do you hate me? You're at two, so we're at four, two, three, one, and two. Excellent. We're at negative 9% stability. Yeah, um... What a, what a nightmare I've gotten my country into. <laughs> or in the Merchant Navy. I mean, three new dockyards? It's pretty good. I definitely will take it. Here's the thing, the, the country is literally about to fall apart, but the, man, do they fucking love war. <laughs> they're, they're ready for war at any moment. But yeah, don't 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 buy the subscription for Hoi Four. Hey, <laughs> the Yugoslav! I have never seen this happen. Another first because I'm so bad at this. So Croatia and Slovenia have declared themselves to be independent. I'm I'm sure that's fine. I'm I'm sure that's completely okay. Uh, hey, Bulga thank God we have the Bulgarians here, right? Bulgaria, I need you immediately. Uh, Romania, immediately join the war. Very cool and very legal. How many troops do they have? 4 to 12 and we don't know. What happened? Uh, it's, <laughs> it's not good. That's what happened. Uh, so you're 5, 6... I mean, okay, so now the Croats are a little happier, so that's nice. Uh, Bosnia, let's throw some points. Let's throw a shit ton of points into you. There we go. Let's throw points into everybody. Hi, Serbia. Or not Serbia, Croatia, I should say. Portugal. Portugal capitulated. Oh, you know, exactly what I said was going to happen, happened. Right. Yeah, the Bulgarians are gonna are gonna help us win this war. We're also now negative seventeen percent stability. You love to hate to see it. So we're gonna have you march away straight as I grab and then move your way straight over here. Hello, Iraq. Welcome. Move your way here. Go to split. Go this way down to split though. Okay, move your way up and around. So wait, what is it? If you want to consider this to be the seventh Balkan War, I wouldn't necessarily disagree with you. We are way to Slovenia. How many? Oh, so this button's broken now. Cool. That just happens sometimes with Toy Four. Okay, so that should be Croatia dealt with. Unless they do need to capitulate at 0%, which might be the case. Okay, Bulgaria, I need you to be as aggressive as possible. Which is the average Monday in Yugoslavia. Bosnia, I love you. Do not... You're, you're, you're at 3 out of 10, which is not great. But, like, don't uprise against me, please. 